Hi guys, it's Silonka Sims here, and welcome to another speed build. Um, this is the first time I'm recording some commentary, so please excuse the quality. I don't have a professional microphone or anything, so if this goes well, I might get one later on, but for now, it's going to have to do with my Sims 4 headset. Um, in this build, we're building a little cottage that I'm building for somebody on Facebook, so I hope you guys like it, I do. Um, it's a little different from what I usually build. I'm more of a modern building person. So it was a little tricky for me, especially the roofing. This is actually the third time I started on this build because I could not get the roofing right the first two times. So this time I tried to immediately do the roofing as well to make sure that it would work. Um, this is a little bit, yeah. The build is, um, it's called Perry Cottage, as you can see in the title as well. Um, Perry is the last name of the girl I built it for because I stuck at naming things, so that's just what I decided to go with. Um, I guess this is a good time for me to do a quick introduction, since I've never recorded before. Um, so my name is Ilonka, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. Um, I'm still in uni, I study tourism. I also have a job, so that's why you will see that sometimes I post videos a lot and sometimes not so much. It depends a little bit on how busy I am and how much time I have to record. Um, also, depending on that, I might do some more um, commentary, maybe not. Let me, let me know what you guys think of this, because this is actually really awkward. I don't know if any of you ever tried this, but I'm basically talking to myself, so it's a little bit awkward. Um, anyways, we have this little English cottage going on. Um, that's what the girl wanted, so it's really funny actually because I've been thinking about doing this kind of build, but I could not think of how to start this. And then she asked for one and I figured, you know what, I just have to do it. Um, it took a little bit to get it right, but it seems to work out fine in the end. Um, I tried to add some details on the outside, um, these are little, I don't know, wooden beams coming out, and the little roof pieces, um, the flower boxes as well, which are very cute actually, I love them. Um, soon I think we'll start, yes, here we go, on the inside, um, I really struggled getting the layout, I mean, oh, this took quite some time, I had to change a little bit on the outside as you will see soon, but it works out fine in the end, so that's okay. Um, I use wood in the whole house, by the way. Um, I know some of you probably don't like that. Um, I know a lot of people are used to carpet in bedrooms, but I'm actually not. We have ro um, wooden floors throughout the house where I live, and it's great, you know, it's easier to clean and all that. Um, it also just works better, I think, in this house. The feel just needs wooden floor, really. I tried some carpet, but it did not work. Um, yeah, you can see me struggling to get the layout right here. Um, I really wanted windows in every room. Um, I really struggled. <laughs> but we get there in the end, so no worries. Um, put in a small idea of where the kitchen would be. Um, yeah, here we go, extending the house a little bit so that I can make it work. <laughs> we lost the deck though, which sucks, but we still have a little outside seating area in the end, so that's okay. Um, still struggling with the layout, but we're almost there, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what we end up with, so... Hope you guys like that as well. Um, oh yeah, I added some counters in a doorway to, uh, uh, from the kitchen looking into the dining area, which is really cute, I think. You cannot go through it, but it's, and it's, the rooms are still separate, but somehow still a little bit connected. Um, starting here on the master bedroom, which ends up pretty well. Um, we end up completely still changing the wallpapers because I found something that I thought worked much better, but 
And we've gotten rid of well, a very cottagey style uh, room. Some furniture that looks a little bit old and damaged, but I think that works perfectly for this house, so that's good. Um, we put in a little chair. It's very simple because it's. She wanted a very small cottage house, um, so obviously we couldn't put in too much. And since people will play with it themselves, I know they will do some more decoration themselves as well. What they like and what they think the Sims would like. Um, here we go with the curtains. God, I hate the curtains in this play in the in the game. There's too little options for curtains really. Um, putting in some art, yeah not that big, <laughs> that obviously doesn't work so well. Um, but it will work better when we put in a different wallpaper. Um, this is a little guest room. Um, I asked the girl that wanted this build and she said that she wanted two bedrooms, one of which would be a guest room. So here we go changing the wallpaper as well. Wow, everything's going very quick. <laughs> a little dresser, which doesn't... I don't know if it makes sense in a guest room, actually, because... Do your guests really bring that much stuff that they need a whole dresser? But who knows, right? And it makes it look like a real bedroom, at least. Um, onto the bathroom. Um, I try to keep... Um, I try to limit the expansions and stuff packs and stuff that I would use, so... Um, <laughs> I'm not a, a real fan of these tiles, but usually I use the ones from Spade. Yeah, Spade. And I love those, but since I didn't use anything else from Spade, I figured I wouldn't use them here. So, and it works out good with the style of the house, anyways. Um, as you can see, we're putting some more details into the kitchen. Um, a mailbox, which is kind of important as well, and a big bin. Um, yeah, some detailing so that you can get some food or wine if you're in the dining area. I'm putting in a table now um, and some chairs. Um, there are not so many swatches that fit, obviously, so we went with the screen chairs. Um, put in, <laughs> found something to put in. Um, we put a little cabinet into the dining area in a little bit. Um, there we go. Looking at one that fit the style. Um, didn't really know what to do with the walls in this room. Um, I ended up putting some wooden wall decorations that just add a little bit of detail without it actually being odd. Um, not those posts, <laughs> those are way too big. Um, but it's a very simple little cottage. Um, soon we will start on the living room as well. Uh, first I'm changing out all the lights because obviously this is not kind of an old cottage. Doesn't make sense to have spotlights everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, we still have to do the living room and then the hallway a little bit and um, the living room will, room will change completely from what you see now what I put in is just a little thing to tell me that that's where the living room will be and to check if it will fit um, we end up putting in a big fireplace because I thought a fire fire a fireplace would fit very well um, sorry for my luck I sometimes struggle talking doesn't matter which language I'm talking in either. <laughs> I'm go putting in the fireplace, moving around some of the furniture so that it actually fits. Um, there's no TV or radio in here, um, but if you want to, you can easily put a TV above the fireplace. So and that would work. I just figured that with the style of house, maybe not having a TV kind of fit. So. I know some of you will think that's maybe a little bit weird, but I thought it just worked out well. I'm um, putting in some decorations and some clutter items to make it look like a cottage, not like somebody's actually living in here. 
Um, we end up putting a little painting on top of the fireplace as well and a bookshelf because there wasn't a bookshelf yet in the house and if that's the OTV you probably want to read a book every once in a while um, we do a little bit of decorations in the hallway as well so that it's not too empty you can easily add a stereo in here as well make your sims have a dance party in the hallway <laughs> Um, we move on to the outside area. I put in a little bench. Um, initially, I put in a picnic table and I looked at it. And I was like, hmm, having a picnic table at a house is maybe a little bit weird. So I changed it for some table, a uh, table and some chairs, as you can see. Um, the little bird bed because it's cute. Um, to finish off the cottage, we put in a lot of flowers, a lot. A lot, a lot of flowers, um, pretty much all around the house. Um, if you want some advice on doing a garden, stick with some main colors. Don't make it too colorful, because it can look very just as if you've thrown in a lot of random things, which you do anyways. But you don't want it to look that way. So I stuck with the yellow and then the purple and pinks, basically. Um, I think there's some orange flowers as well, but it's very limited to those colors. There's no blues or reds or the, I don't know, whatever color you can think of, the flowers could still be. Um, but I've stuck to these two, my color groups, and they work very well together, I think so. And it really gives it a really nice cottage feel in the end, so. I let's see more flowers and flowers and flowers forever flowers. Um, I like how it ends up looking though, so that's good. I usually don't put this many flowers in because it can look very much like you have a very <laughs> overgrown garden, which it does look like a little bit, but fits very well with this style of house, so that's okay. Um, just a little bit and then we will head into some screenshots for you. Putting in some of the last flowers for us though. And of course some terrain painting. You cannot forget this, to put some sand on, on a niche of flowers. And there we go. So this is the front of the house. The side slash back. The other side slash back. <laughs> Not a shot from the front with the sun just shining down beautifully. Um, the dining room and the kitchen, living room, the master bedroom, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.